This video covers Harmer's interface and major sections. It's designed to complement the Harmer manual. Harmer is a what you see is what you get instrument. Most of the controls are right here on the main screen. And the main screen is officially called the Graphic User Interface, or GUI. So in Harmer, you only have to learn your way around this screen, these four tabs, and the visual feedback window. One handy feature is the hint bar window. It displays the name of any control that you move your mouse over. It works like the balloon help in other software, but without blocking your view of the controls. In the FL Studio native version, this information displays in the FL Studio hint bar. Harmer has two identical parts, part A and part B, that process Timber 1 and Timber 2 voices independently. There's a blend slider and power switches, and you can click between the two parts. Part A and B also process the image synthesis sections independently, so the voice sources for these parts can be the timber generators or the image synthesis section if that's activated. The GUI contains most of the controls, but there are a lot of useful features contained in the right-click menus, which are often called context menus. For example, if I right-click on filter number one's frequency control, I get all sorts of options. I can reset it. I can copy it to another part of Harmer. I can call up its articulator, which we'll explain in another video. Articulators act as modulation sources for the controls, and each articulator target can have multiple parts or things that modulate it. I can also use the context menu to map this parameter to the modulation controls, or I can use MIDI Learn to connect it to my hardware controller. You can right-click on almost any control in Harmer and find similar options. We'll go over how all these work in other videos. For now, I just want to introduce you to the controls. You also have option menus tucked away all around the GUI. For example, here at the bottom of the Envelope Editor, you'll find the Envelope Options menu. And in the Image Editor, you find a menu for Image Options. Harmer's controls are color-coded so that related knobs and sliders have the same colors. For example, all of the blur controls are backlit in green, and all of the harmonizer controls are backlit in magenta, and so on. The major sections of Harmer are the oscillator section, the filter section, the global controls, the editor, and the visualizer. You also have tabs to switch the editor between Envelope, Image and Resynthesis, Effects, and Advanced Options. To load the factory presets, click here. You'll see 12 different preset categories and dozens of individual presets. Pick out something that looks interesting, then click to load. If we open the preset menu again, there are some unusual entries at the bottom. These are intended to help you learn how to program Harmer. For example, if we load up Harmony, you'll see tips appear in the info window. And now take a listen to middle C. There are quite a lot of subtractive synthesizers, often bragging about being virtual analog. This one is digital and proud to be. Everything is fake. The tone generator, the filter, and its resonance. The phaser, all performed on the harmonics before partials are computed. Finally, if you click on the Help menu and open Help Contents, you'll see the Quick Start Guide as a PDF. You can also find more support and great ideas in the various forums and user groups available through the ImageLine website. For more great software, visit the ImageLine online shop. And for more tutorials, visit the ImageLine YouTube channel.